All right, so here's the, the plan for the day. It's four by four on bench. I'm using 315 for four sets of four. Jess, what are you I'll be using like 275, 75 maybe try 285. So four sets of four. Um, I already do my first set. The bench work felt really good. I uh, I played around with my grip a little bit, widened it out just a touch. Well, for the first set I used normal grip, and then for the last three or four, kind of lost track of how many sets I was doing. I widened my grip just a tad, and it felt pretty good. I almost feel like I'm gonna start playing with that slightly wider grip a little bit more. Um, the weight moved fast, felt easy. Uh, so who knows, you can always, form and technique is always something that's evolving, it's always improving. Uh, it's, it can always get better. I don't think it's ever a good idea to get locked into one way of doing something and just think that that's automatically your most optimal way. So uh, yeah, I like it. What's up Swarger Nation, Steve Cook here. Hitting the July 4th workout with the Van Cobb Hunt. Knocking out some floor press. I bet you guys didn't know I was training with Steve Cook today. Anyway, did uh, we finished up bench. Now we're on to floor press. I'm actually doing close grip floor press. Um, gonna do like four sets of six and then uh, probably get in some rows, some back work and uh, call it a July 4th workout.
What's up guys, Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. Another day, another motherfucking dollar. We're on our way to the gym to get a bench session in. And I'm sipping on that Dare G Fuel, the new flavor, Tropical Rain. It's pretty good, it's a unique flavor. I'm actually really excited about it because honestly, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever really had. I can't really even like compare it to something like, a lot of times with like flavors you can say, ah oh, well it tastes like, you know like for example like a green apple, like G Fuel green apple, you can describe it as almost like a Jolly Rancher green apple or something like this, but this one you can't really pinpoint what exactly the flavor is, but it's good. However, I'm gonna keep it real. When I first opened up the container, and you guys know I keep shit real, and this is proof of that. When I opened up the container, you know, I took a, a nice smell because I like to, you know, take it all in, waft it up into my nostrils. And at first I was a little taken back. I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like the, flip, the, the smell doesn't really, I don't know. It doesn't like jump out at you and you're like, hmm, this is, you know, guaranteed to be the best tasting thing ever as I pull into the gym. How? I, but then, as soon as you taste it, I mean, the, the, the taste is 10 times better than it smells, which is good. I'd rather, sometimes it's the other way around, it smells delicious and then it tastes like shit. So I'd rather it taste good and smell, it's not like it smells bad, it just, the smells, I don't know, it just doesn't, portray the flavor I guess is what I'm trying to say so if you happen to buy some tropical rain G fuel and you smell it first and you're like mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like it just try it first trust me on that one all right I just pulled in got some more bench work to do today I am getting the wheels turning for nationals prep which I will be starting next week. Today is, what's today? The 6th, July 6th, Wednesday, July 6th. The plan is to start, you know, start on the training program, training blocks, leading up to nationals um, on next week. Now mind you, it's not gonna be like a, you know, I I've mentioned that to other people, like, oh, already, you're already starting? Well, it's not like a, you know, a peaking cycle or anything like that. It's not even, it's not even necessarily like a meat prep program. It's mostly just mentally, you know what I mean? Getting on track, especially with all, all the shit that's been going on with moving and, and stuff. It's more mentally just like, okay, flipping that switch and making the, the mental note that, okay, now, you know, shit's, shit's getting real. It's, you know, we're training for something. The next thing on the schedule is nationals. I'm going all in 100% towards that. Uh, and, you know, no more missed workouts, no more, you know, missed reps. Just everything is fucking, here we go. We're going after it. Um, actually have to sign up for nationals um, this week too, I think. I don't think, you don't have to, but you have like the early registration is like, I think probably like before like the middle of July, so I should probably get on that as well. All right, let's head to the gym. All right, so bench day, four sets of six with 305 pounds. Got a solid crew here. Ran again. Steve, introduce yourself. Steven Archer, big gym. Represent. He was. Uh, he was actually last July Fourth. We were all three of us were actually at at Gold's Gym, hitting up a uh, deadlift workout. Right, that's what it was. Deadlift workout. Yep. You can go on the channel and find that. But you probably don't even recognize it. You <laughs> lost so much weight. How much weight have you lost? Uh, about 50 pounds since that's last insane. year. And you've maintained, if not gained, strength. Oh yeah, definitely. In a caloric surplus the whole time. So it's a deficit. You know, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, deficit. I mean, yeah. Um, so for everybody who's always worried about losing weight and and losing strength, yes, weight does. You know, when you lose weight, you you definitely set yourself up 
for the potential to lose strength, but it doesn't necessarily happen, have to happen that way, especially if you have your programming dialed in. Go. Man, I like that shirt. Come on. Up. Easy. Crushed it. I say, I say that was probably like, I don't know, an RP of like seven. It looked pretty easy. Um, We're looking for an RP 10. Yeah, so. I would go 315 next, but I think you have probably 325 in you. Alright. Rocking the old school Hunt Fitness shirt. I love it. Come on. Good. Oh, nothing, dude. Here you go. There he is. And, and Dawson comes in late. I had to put a swordfish up on the wall this morning. I woke up in my pants and shrugged. Look, I got a little cut for fruit. See that? Yeah. That's just proof oh why he's gosh. late. And it, like my mom was struggling, she couldn't do it herself, so I had to do it. Three fifteen. Come on, let's get it. You know, I used to be a YouTube nerd. I don't really get on anymore. Come on. I look at your channel, Kyle's channel, like, I'm trying to, yeah, I like Kyle. Up, up, like, drive, 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 drive. Up, up, up. So, you hit 305, right, pretty easy. Go up 10 pounds to 315, get buried. I, I think you'll get it. I think you, I think you can get it. I think touch and go. I hit that. Go, uh, crush it next time. it next time. Glenn thought he was going to be uh, a tough guy talking about how we <laughs> put more weight on the bar than what we were using. So, I said, so I said, fine, I'll just stick with that and do 6 and 3 with you. If that's how you're going to be. Come on, Kyle! Come on, Kyle! Here we go, come on. Let's get it. Up. Nice. Good. Rob it. He just needed some weight on the bar. Yeah. 310, alright, let's get it. We're getting this. Down and up. Squeeze the bar. Everyone's watching. You gotta get it. Up, 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 up. Drive, 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 drive. Finish. Oh, oh man. Look at this That's kids. swaggy, isn't it? These are my squat Those shoes. Those are his squat right shoes. Now. I'm like, are you getting ready to go on a yacht? Or? Like Chad Wesley Smith. Though. Yeah, that's, what, that's the look. Like, I'm going to bulk up to 308, squat like 906. Like, I'm going to be ready to go. All right, let's get it. 335 on the bar. Good. Get it. Lock it out. Lock it out. Lock it out. Finish. I don't, I don't what do you do? I just wake up in the morning and do this. And, and then that's what like you get. That. Yep. Man. See, Max, Max tuning, he's got to like, I just got to put shit in his hair. You don't even have to do it. Just wake up. And yeah, I just use chalk. Yeah, gym chalk. Gym chalk. I'm bad, I don't know what the, the, the hell you do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's roll. 
Up. Another one. Up, 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 up. Come on. Up. Lock it out. Squeeze the bar. Let's see what you got there. Get it? Yep. There you go. At a powerlifting meet, we, we just got to ask him if Ren can use dumbbells. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The strength is there. Come on. Stay tight. There you go. I'm away to Chipotle. We're gonna have some lunch. <clears throat> Just had an epic meetup with uh, the boys. Man, I'll tell you what. Nothing beats like-minded individuals like it just it fires me up just being in the gym and talking with guys that have a big passion for fitness powerlifting want to better themselves want to get stronger it's it's just amazing and you don't even realize how beneficial it is until you're not around it very often and I'm not around it very often so when I happen to be around it it's like the, the amount of energy it creates is just unbelievable and I think I feel like my life goal is to somehow figure out a way to bring a bunch of like-minded people together um, because I mean it's just it's a, it's a game changer and I found that you know everyone says that there there is a saying that you're the average of the five people you hang around with the most and I find that to be true. I, f I feel like when you are able to spend time with people who are are doing good things and doing what you want to do and are all like-minded, you just you uplift everybody, everybody who's who's around you. So going to get some Chipotle lunch. Those are just some some things that were on my mind. <laughs>